Good morning to all. Yesterday we have discussed about the viruses. Uh, we have discussed economic importance of viruses. In addition to this, uh, we have discussed the uh, uh, reproduction in viruses, general account of reproduction in viruses, how viruses multiply. So uh, that was all about viruses. Today we will discuss about the bacteria. That is our next topic. Uh, bacteria. So today's learning objectives are mycoplasma. We will discuss about mycoplasma. Uh, in lower classes you have studied about mycoplasma. In addition to this we will discuss about bacteria, its discovery, historical background and some of its general characteristics. So let's start. So first, our first topic mycoplasma. Uh, this is the simplest and smallest living organism. This is the cellular structure of this mycoplasma. It consists of simple uh, structure. Uh, it contains some cell organelles like ribosome, only ribosome. So it comes under uh, the kingdom Monera. According to R.H. Whitaker's uh, system of classification of living organisms, he divided living organisms into five kingdoms. So the first kingdom, Monera, includes all the prokaryotes. So this is a prokaryote. It consists of three layered cell membrane, which is similar to gram negative bacteria that we will discuss are in upcoming lectures. In addition to this, it contains cytoplasm and it contains soluble RNA and its genetic material that is DNA. So there is no cell wall. Cell wall is absent in case of mycoplasma. So mycoplasma mostly commonly we known them by the other name which is pplo pplo stands for pleuropneumonia like organisms pleuro means wearing shape Just shape change hoti hai. so pplo these are commonly known as pleuropneumonia like organism these are the smallest living organisms having a size of 0 to 1 micron in diameter so we can call them as smallest living organism uh, in addition to this pplos are also called mlo which stands for mycoplasma like organism in addition to this they are also referred as, referred as jokers of plant kingdoms jokers of plant kingdom uh, its internal organization its internal organization its internal structure resembles to a typical bacterium cell Bacteria ki tarah iska internal structure hota hai. And it resembles to the gram negative bacteria. Gram negative bacteria that we will discuss later on. Uh, these structures, these uh, simplest cells, we can say, was first observed by Nocard and rocks. In, uh, uh, and they cultured it in artificial media. Artificial media is the nutrient medium which is created by humans or uske open and ne isko grow kiya tha, culture kiya tha. so they were the first person to culture this uh, pplo which is pleural pneumonia like organism the next is so mostly jo mycoplasma hai that reproduces by binary fusion and budding so binary fusion jaisa ki naam se hi pata hai uh, jo parental cell hai जो एक सिंगल सेल है, it gets divided into two equal cells which are known as daughter cells. So this division of one parental cell into two daughter cell is commonly known as binary fusion. Next is budding or cell elongation. It is similar to that of yeast. जैसे yeast के केस में होता है, जो सेल है that will elongate and form small bead-like structure. So this process is known as budding. So reproduction is by the process of binary fusion and budding. Budding and binary fusion. In addition to this, जो ये simplest living organism हैं, वो कुछ एक diseases भी cause करते हैं. So diseases caused by mycoplasma like organisms are first is little leaf of brinjal. जो little leaf of brinjal है, इसमें जो brinjal का leaf size है, that is reduced, highly reduced, बहुत ही reduced हो जाता है. In addition to this, जो plant है, that looks like bush, bush की तरह दिखता है. और इसमें 
जो ट्रांसफर है इस डिजीज का फ्रॉम इन्फेक्टेड प्लांट टू द फ्रेश प्लांट इज कैरीड आउट बाय सम इंसेक्ट लाइक लीफ ऑपर वो इसको ट्रांसफर करता है और इसमें कोई भी फ्रूट्स नहीं बनते हैं सो दिस इज द डिजीज विच इज नॉन एज लिटल लीफ ऑफ ब्रिंजल कॉज बाय माइक्रोप्लाज्म नेक्स्ट इज सेंडल स्पाइक जो सेंडल स्पाइक है इसमें <coughs> जो स्पाइक होता है दैट इट बिकम्स रोजेट रोजेट मीन्स फॉर एग्जाम्पल जैसे कुछ एक प्लांट्स हैं हमारे पास रेडिश है उसमें जो स्टेम होता है दैट इज़ हाईली रिड्यूस्ड और उसके ऊपर जो लीव्स लगे होते हैं विच इज़ एवर ग्राउंड एव ग्राउंड पार्ट तो वो ऐसे प्लांट्स जिनमें स्टेम हाईली रिड्यूस होता है ऐसे स्ट्रक्चर को हम बोलते हैं रोजेट सो इसमें भी सेंडल स्पाइक डिजीज में भी जो लीव साइज है दैट गेट्स रिड्यूस्ड और जो इंटर नोड्स हैं दे आर हाईली रिड्यूस सो इस तरह का इसमें रिडक्शन हो जाता है प्लांट के साइज में सो दिस इज ऑल्सो द वैक्टर्स ऑफ दिस डिजीज आर सम इंसेक्ट्स नेक्स्ट इज सिट्रस क्रीनिंग दिस इज नेक्स्ट डिजीज विच इज कॉज बाय दिस माइक्रोप्लाज्मा लाइक ऑर्गेनिज्म ग्रासी शूट ऑफ शुगर केन इस केस में जो शुगर केन है उसमें जो मेन स्टेम है वह ऐसे क्लियर कट मेन स्टेम बनता नहीं है इट फॉर्म्स ग्रासी स्ट्रक्चर जिसमें कि लीफ में क्लोरोफिल अच्छे से नहीं बन पाता है and the, it results in huge loss in uh, yield and its quality then other is disease is rice yellow dwarf ye disease jo hai list of this disease hai it is caused by mycoplasma like organisms next we will discuss bacteria bacteria this word in greek means stick or rod like structure so this is the structure we can see here this is a stick or rod like structure It is a simple prokaryotic unicellular microscopic organism. जो बैक्टीरिया है बहुत ही सिंपल ऑर्गेनिज्म है यूनिसेलर होते हैं एंड दे आर माइक्रोस्कोपिक ऑर्गेनिज्म दे आर वेरी स्मॉल इन साइज एंड दे आर प्लेस्ड इन किंगडम मोनरा जो आर एच विटेकर का फाइव किंगडम सिस्टम ऑफ क्लासीफिकेशन है उसमें जो फर्स्ट किंगडम है किंगडम मोनरा विच इंक्लूड ऑल द प्रो कैरियॉट्स प्रो कैरियॉट्स मीन्स हैविंग इन विच the true nucleus or we can say uh, the nuclear membrane in the nucleus is absent in the cell is absent so they don't have true nuclei and most of cell organelles are absent except ribosomes so these all organisms which comes under this kingdom are prokaryotes so bacteria are prokaryotes firstly the living cells was first observed by antony van leeuwenhoek in 1665 he was the first person to observe the living cells by using simple microscope uh, in 1675 he was able to observe these uh, simple living structure in pond water and tartar scrap from teeth so jo pond water hai uske drop mein unhone sabse pehle is jo living structure bacteria ko observe kiya tha so he was the first person to observe or discover the living cell you can say he called them as animalculis or durkens he called them as animalculia or durkens which means in german which mean a little animals german mein iska matlab hota hai little animals he called them as an animalculi and durkens next the term jo term hai bacterium it was introduced by christian gottfried hennberg in 1828 so first person to introduce this term bacterium is ehrenberg in 1828 and the study of bacteria the branch of biology in which we study we can say microbiology in which we study bacteria is commonly known as bacteriology so study bacteria is bacteriology they are mostly ubiquitous ubiquitous means they are found everywhere wo sabhi jagah pe bacteria paaye jaate hain in their distribution and they are present in moderate condition normal conditions mein bhi hote hain extreme conditions mein bhi hote hain they may be extreme hot extreme cold they are found in every environmental condition so they are ubiquitous in nature which means they are found everywhere next there are many diseases which are caused by bacteria in humans as well as plants that we will discuss in detail uh, in our economic importance part so tuberculosis leprosy tetanus diphtheria whooping cough cholera plague etc these are all diseases which are caused by bacteria next is habitat habitat is basically a place where an organism lives so we can simply say this is an address of an organism so address of an organism is commonly known as habitat 
So on the basis of habitats, we can divide bacteria into different categories. Uh, so first category is mesophiles or mesophiles. So meso means moderate, normal. So these are the bacteria which like, lives or grows in optimum conditions of temperature and other environmental factor. Optimum means normal conditions. So we can say they normally grow in temperature range of 15 to 45 degrees Celsius. So these are the good condition to survive. The normal conditions in environment, because the bacteria grow, these are commonly known as mesophiles. Next is psychrophiles. Psychro means cold. So bacteria which grows at temperature below 20 degrees Celsius are commonly known as psychrophiles. There are some bacteria like bacillus. Bacillus means rod-like structure. We will discuss it in next next lecture, the shapes of bacteria. So bacillus can grow in Antarctic Ocean, polar region, polar Pacific Antarctic uh, Oceans, where temperature is degrees degree, for example, Arthrobacter and Pseudomonas. These are some examples of psychrophiles. So psychrophiles are the bacteria which grow in low temperature. Next is thermophiles. So bacteria which grow uh, at a temperature range of greater than 45. Jo 45 degree Celsius ke temperature se zada, uh, high temperature pe grow karte hai bacteria up to we can say 100 degree Celsius. So those bacteria are known as thermophiles. So there is a famous example of Thermos aquaticus. This, ko hum, isse, this bacteria was used to isolate one enzyme which is known as TAC polymerase. So TAC polymerase was obtained from this bacteria which is Thermos aquaticus and that is the most important uh, enzyme we can say TAC polymerase which was used in PCR that is polymerase chain reaction. So it can uh, work well in uh, high temperature and this bacteria grows in a temperature greater than 75 degrees Celsius. So they can uh, tolerate the extreme environmental condition. In addition to this, there are other bacteria. There is Pyrobolus fumari, which can tolerate a temperature uh, greater than 113 degrees Celsius. Next, acidophiles. Acidophiles, as the name indicates, so they grow in acidic conditions where the pH is less than 5. For example, thiobacillus and uh, thiobacillus ferrooxidans. So these, this is an example of bacteria which can grow in acidic environmental condition. Next bacteria, alkalophiles, as the name indicates, so alkaline conditions, acid bacteria, which can high pH pe grow in high alkalophiles or basophiles, for example, bacillus, alkalophilus. Next uh, is halophiles. Halophiles are also, they are, they grow in saline conditions. Salty condition, which grow in bacteria, they are known as halophiles. So, uh, they are mostly non-motile, they cannot move. Unke paas koi bhi aisa structure nahi hota hai, jisse wo move kar sake like cilia and flagella. And they are gram negative, means they cannot retain the gram strain. In addition to this, and non-spore producing, they do not produce spore. This we will discuss in detail in our uh, upcoming lecture, reproduction in bacteria. The example of halophiles is Halobacterium salinarum. In addition to this, there are the other example is Halococcus. Next are barophiles. Barophiles, they grow in very high pressure of 200 to 600 atmospheric pressure. So this pressure is present in the depth of oceans or sea. Uh, for example, the example of such bacteria is Photobacterium and Methanococcus. So these are some bacteria which grows in extreme environmental conditions. So that's why they are ubiquitous in nature and they are found everywhere in an environmental, in harsh environmental condition as well as optimum environmental condition. Bacteria. In next, you bacteria can see this uh, procreatic video clip or animation they which shows found the bacteria's on normal the structure. The ancestor of modern shapes. bacteria appear so, on the uh, earth about 3.5 billion years this ago. All the cytoplasm about lecture. forms the main mass of bacterium cell. It contains the genetic material that is the ring-shaped DNA. Unlike in eukaryotes, proteins are not attached to the DNA in prokaryotes. The cytoplasm includes in the cell membrane. 
all bacteria have a cell wall. It is tough, rigid, and it is made from proteins and polysaccharides. It provides the cell with structure support and protection. Outside the cell wall is a capsule which is made mainly from polysaccharide. It protects the cell and is responsible for the disease caused by some bacteria and the host organism. Some bacteria are capable of active locomotion through the use of their flagella. Bacteria have an exception ability to adopt and reproduce and this is why they are extremely widespread. They are capable of both sexual and asexual reproduction. If they reproduce through the binary fission, which is the form of asexual reproduction, it results in a large number of individual bacteria cells. Bacteria occur in a wide range of shapes, including spheres, rods, and spirals. Spherical bacteria, which are called cocci, can occur as a single cells pairs change or cluster. Many bacteria that produce separative infections pneumonia are spherical. Gonorrhea is also caused by cocci. One group of rod-shaped bacteria are called bacilli. These can be harmless such as lactobacilli used in the food industry. Many bacilli cause disease like the pathogens of plug, tuberculosis, salmonellosis, and tetanus. E. coli, which is commonly found on the human intestine system, it is also a bacillus. Syphilis, Lyme disease, and leptospirosis are caused by spiral-shaped bacteria. Gram staining is a method of differentiating bacteria into two groups, gram negative and gram positive. The basis of differentiation is that staining produces different results in the cell walls of different types of bacteria because of their different structure. The two types of bacteria react to antibiotics differently, so treating different antibiotic infection requires different antibiotics. Thank you. Have a nice day.